Good morning, guys. The girls are just up now super late. It's because they went to bed super late last night. I'm actually working on a couple of projects for our channel, some really cute videos that are taking me forever to edit. Sam and I were up so late last night, and I looked at the clock, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it is 10 o'clock, and these girls need to go to bed. So I told them before they went to sleep, you need to sleep in. So they did. They did sleep in. Good morning, guys. What, do you, what are you doing there, Missy? Playing Look at her, she can carry two saddles at once. I, I can hardly carry one. This is the new horse that she got from a little girl. It spent all of her allowance on that horse. That makes me feel so bad. I just want her to save her money and buy everything that she wants for herself. It's so generous and so kind that she bought it for you, huh? Imagine I said all the money you're saving up for your, your wash stall. And I said, Sophie, let's go buy somebody, something, somebody else something with your money. Would you want to do it? Yeah, so imagine how kind and... I wouldn't because I don't want to wash doll. <laughs> I know, but imagine how kind she was because she probably really wanted a wash doll. Or she probably wanted that horse so badly just for herself. Isn't that amazing that she did I've that? I've seen that horse on Amazon. You saw that horse on Amazon? Was it one that you wanted? Was it... Yeah. Gabby's taking antibiotics because she's still got that lump there. We switched from the salt water that the girls were drink, gargling with yesterday uh, to uh, this red um, mouthwash. Oh, you was gonna send me. Yeah, we have a bunch of letters ready to go out in the mail. They're all sitting here. I have a couple more to write up today that we need to do, and then they're all going out. To I've DJ. got some letters and some postcards. Some of you guys have been sending me messages about the new Schleich barn, and we're like, oh, there's a new Schleich barn. Are you excited to see it? It's not in here. Go back then. So I downloaded the new catalog, and we can't <clears throat> find it. Would you want the new one if there's a new barn? Uh, yeah. But you love your barn. I do, but I need another barn too. Yeah, we both need a new barn. And I need you that need a horse. new barn too? What barn is, what horse I need is that? that horse. That black one with the white star. Yeah, it's a boy. I'm starting to get the terminology down. I'm starting to understand what you guys are talking about when you talk about stuff with me. I am loving this lesson and horse stuff. Anyway, I just cannot imagine where we would put two more barns. These are, these are the old barns. I think this is two years ago barn. This big, huge barn. And then this is last year's barn over here. And then this is the trailer. This is Gabby's new horse from last night. I mean, the dining room table is completely filled with, with, she's got a jar of tack there. She's got horses everywhere, riders everywhere. Yeah, like some I have to keep out like that. Yeah. She's got horses back here. Can you ever have enough Schleich? No. No. I agree, they're all so beautiful in their own way. I love them all. She's got a jar full of tack. Look at, Look at this guy, he's all alone in his own stuff. That's a Luna. Oh, and it's she's a girl. A Frisian mare. A Luna. Okay, did you find the new barn? Mm-mm. All right, let me I see. I'm checking this way. Let me see if I can find it. It's the new, it's, it's not that's, the new one. No, that's the, the old barn, right? Yeah, that's that barn. Ah, we can't find it, you guys. We're dying to see the new, 2018 Schleich Barn. We've seen some of the send horses. It to us. Yeah, send it to us. Gabby wants, Sophie wants, what are you gonna ask for for your birthday? The Schleich Vet trailer. Yeah, so we're gonna hopefully, she'll get that oh, for her birthday. Isn't it this? Isn't it Is this? that it? I thought that was it, the little tiny stall. It's a stall, not a barn. It's this, and that can go like that. I am gonna have to look it up online and maybe look at it up on Amazon and see if I can find it. But if you guys have seen the new Schleich barn, let us know. Send us the link because we're having heart so much trouble finding it. I am expecting so many things in the mail today, this week, and it's already Thursday and only one thing came. Anyway, I figured out what's wrong with you. I figured out what's wrong with you, mostly. Do you know what it is? No. See, your cheek is still a bit big. I knew you guys would come through for me. Somebody in the comments, let me find it. Caitlin Ray said that in January I had a gingivostomatitis. I think that's how she says it. Um, it's caused by the bacteria that causes strep throat. Ha! Huh. 
I knew Sophia had strep throat. I could just totally tell that she had strep throat on the weekend or last week when she was sick and then it went into something different and they both got this weird rashy thing on their gums that when you touch it, it pours blood. And like, not like regular gingivitis. Like it was like, you should, Sam, you should have saw it. It was disgusting. Like even last night, I put the brush like Mine this. Mine bleeds a little bit. It's, Gabby's just bleeds a little bit and Sophie's <clears throat> bleeds a lot, but Gabby has blisters all over there. And this is caused by strep, it causes canker sores. I looked it all up. It's exactly what Gabby has. I mean, she, they both had it. It caused the same thing and one of the big symptoms is a stinky breath and it was this gross, stinky, bloody, breathy smell that yeah, but the only thing that's concerning me still is a little Please bit don't of a. Let's do the mouthwash again. It yeah, burned. that's. Burned your mouth. The mouthwash was burning. Yeah, it burns your mouth. Cause yeah. she has sores in her no, mouth. No, it didn't burn the sores. The sores were fine. Salt water then. Better. Okay. <laughs> We'll do salt water then. So basically it said that the treatment, unless there's any kind of complication, um, is just debriding all this stuff, like getting rid of all the stuff that's in there and um, hygiene. So that's what we're gonna do. This is what happens when your kids only are at the barn once a week. They need more things to ride. Rising trot. <laughs> hey, I should practice that. All right guys, we are going to the library. Laura and Sophie already went. They walked there and Gabby and I are taking the lazy way and we're going to drive there and meet them there. And sneak up on them. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah? Scare them? Mm -hmm. See how high they jump? Tried to get you but your sister messed it all up. Oh, you couldn't play that then? Your sister yeah. messed it all up, Soph. We're going to try and scare you. I need to heal because I heard you. We're home from the library and I'm outside with the girls. And some one of our subscribers said that she's been teaching her dog, actually, actually I think it was Shatsy Does Agility, said that she has been teaching... <laughs> She's been teaching her dog oh. to walk, trot, canter. Yeah, yeah, My that's dog's super fun. Crazy. So now crazy. the girls are so, so now the girls have decided that they want to teach their dogs to walk, crazy trot, dog. and canter. Crazy this is dog. a crazy dog. <laughs> She's never acted like that. She's like, I know you got food. Crazy. Anything? Oh. Whoa! Bring her back. Crazy. That dog is in love crazy. with food today. Crazy. Over. Crazy. Over. Hey, let me jump. Whoa! Gabby didn't even say go over that time and she just ran. I know, she does that. She knows she she'll just get jumped for jumping, but I don't give her any. Okay, I'll do the double over. This cook jumping. Does she jump for treats? I'll though? do the double over. Alright, Cookie, watch. No, Cookie's gonna cheese. right here. Macy, jump please. Macy. Ziggy. Come on. No, see? Why is over jump? My dog only knows walk, trot, canter. Well, she I mean, knows. walk, trot, gallop. Yeah. Were you galloping? And <laughs> Cookie only knows crawl on the it's ground. And where's my dog, you guys ask? They left him inside. Why didn't you bring out my dog? He was in mid poop when we brought them in. Oh, he was in mid poop, I guess. Guys, watch. Over me. She can camp. Huh. Guys, watch. She's okay. gonna camp. Over, please. Over. There you go. Oh. Good. Say hi, Miss Macy. Hi. Macy. <laughs> okay. Watch, Macy. She's like. You hardly played with me all day. Good. She's going. Let's see what this pup can do. Let's see what this pup can do. Cookie. So pretty. It's so funny how you uh, dogs and their owners get to look e like each other and get to act like each other. Like Cookie is only about loving. She's just a calm, quiet, relaxed dog who just loves everybody. Exactly like Sophie. And Macy is a firecracker mm. on steroids. She's running all the time and climbing all the time. She chases squirrels and she has like a little bit of a bite to her and that's exactly Gabby. 
and I don't know what about treat. Toby. Like that. How is Toby? What's Toby's personality? Toby is Ziggy's personality. But what? Yeah, he is really sweet. He's really loving. Although I'm not like that. I'm loving like Sophie. I don't know. He just, he has his own little personality. He's so cute though. Whoa. We have gotten this book from the library a gazillion times. It's called Horse Breeds, the fact book of horse breeds. Every time we get it, the girls look at it and look at it and it doesn't even hold any interest to me. But now that I'm riding, literally it's like this whole new world has opened up. And I'm looking through it and I'm thinking, it's almost like shopping now. Looking at horse breeds is almost like shopping. Is it like that for you? No. What's your favorite horse breed? Uh, right now, Andalusia. Oh, me too. Go get them. Gabby and I are so in love with that Andalusian that she got yesterday. And we found out that the horse that that little girl, what's her name? Nania? Nania, I'm sorry, we don't know how to pronounce things very yeah, well yeah, yeah. in this family. But anyway, she spent all of her allowance last week buying the girls this horse. And it was a 2018 brand new edition and it's a special horse and it is so cute. Like seriously, isn't that the most beautiful horse you ever saw? <clears throat> You like halflingers? I learned that halflingers are ponies. I told you, cause they are a uh, 12. No idea, but now I know. 12.2 hands to 14.3 hands. Yeah. That's a pony. Yeah, so they're small. But what kind of breed that I like? I like big, heavy breeds. I like, I like the heavy Frisian. breeds. Yeah, like I like Frisians and draft and horses. Frisians. Yeah, those are. Well, I don't know why, but those are just the horses heavy that I'm horses. more drawn to. <laughs> Yeah, so I literally spent an hour at the library going through this book. I've had it here so many times, I've never even picked it up. But now, all of a sudden, I'm obsessed. I love the horse that the girl gave. Yeah, like that is the nicest horse. We'd like to send her something, huh? I Wouldn't love... we like to send her something? Yeah. She must look in green because she looks in the You are kind of yeah. like a Frisian horse. Yeah, I'm kind of like a Frisian no, horse. Frisian. But, like, because they're family horses. That's are they all. family horses? Okay, so, yesterday I told you guys that something really exciting happened. And it's not super exciting, but if you're like me and you believe in faith and God and signs, then maybe this will mean something to you. So, the other night I dreamed about Ziggy. It was the very first time that I ever dreamed about him. And basically what happened was that I dreamed this lady that I know and I dreamed that I asked her if her kids could come someplace with me and she said that she didn't have enough money. And I was like, oh, well that's okay. Can the kids still come with me? And she said, yeah, sure, they can come with you. And so then it skipped to another part of the dream and is that's the part that I dreamed about Ziggy. I dreamed after that lady said, I, can't, I don't have enough money, but my kids can still come with you, that I was standing in my uh, dining room and I <clears throat> met the lady that owned Ziggy and then she said, well, we just don't have time for him, but we really, really love him. And I said, that's okay, we'll love him. We have so much time. And I don't know for sure that she said, yeah, okay, you can have him, but I feel like in my dream that it said that. Well, anyway. I have not met the lady, nothing like that, but yesterday, and I was almost having a heart attack. Yesterday, <clears throat> I said to Sam, oh, I need to check with so-and-so if their kid can come to Sophie's birthday party. And I picked up my phone to text the mother, and all of a sudden, it was that I realized it was the woman in my dream, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, and then I told Sam, I dreamed that I asked this lady if her kids could come with me someplace and I'm asking her now if she could come to the birthday party and uh, then I told Sam she said that she didn't have she couldn't afford something but that her kids could come with me so I texted the lady and she sent me a message back and the message was that she hasn't been doing she's going to school now so she's not been doing birthday parties the last couple of years with her kids because she can't afford it because she's going to college and I said, that's okay. Um, can they still come with me to the birthday party? And she said, yeah, I think that'd be okay. It's exactly like my dream. And then I said, oh my gosh, now that that happened, I bet you were gonna find out about Ziggy. And I was so excited. I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna go to the barn. We're gonna find out about Ziggy. I knew it. And then my lesson <laughs> got canceled. And I was uh, devastated. It was horrible. Anyway, so that's my story, and I feel like it's about to happen. And I keep saying that, 
for like a month. We've been saying we might get Ziggy, we might get Ziggy, everybody pray we might get Ziggy. I don't know what's taking so long. I, the lady just needs to decide. It, he's gonna be still at the barn. Either she's gonna pay for him or we're gonna pay for him. It would be just so much easier if she let us pay for him. Oops, Gabby has been waiting to play Star Stable this whole entire day and she's finally at it. Are you playing Star Stable? Yeah, there was a Star Stable commercial on our vlog. Like, no, it wasn't a commercial, it was an ad. It's yeah. At like the bottom of the screen. Yeah. She just turned on our videos and she was watching it, and then there was a Star Stable ad at the bottom of our vlog, and she was like, there's Star Stable on our, they're advertising Star Stable on our video, and it was amazing. Anyway, we we're gonna do comment of the day, but we've already done like so many comments because I'm getting to know you guys so well. I'm getting to know you guys by name. Also, I need oh, to tell you. Song. Also, I need to tell you that my lesson is not canceled. It is postponed at the end of this week. I'll have my lesson. So, comment of the day goes to Haley Kramer, and she Mom. says, "The bridle you guys had is a saddle seat bridle. It's not made for hunt seat. Just figured I'd let you know. Well, thank you so much for letting us know. We did not get it because I could not figure it out because it did not look like the regular saddles that we have at our barn." And I wanted to practice on it, um, saddle wrapping, and I didn't think that we'd be able to do that. But All right, that's it for today, guys. Stay tuned for my riding lesson. It's a special one coming up on Saturday. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.